Good afternoon. MUC Police Constable Serge Markovic has just been sentenced. He was the driver of a speeding police cruiser which killed a young man in front of Loyola College in West End, Montreal. Cynthia Drummond is standing by live at the Montreal Courthouse with details. Cynthia. Well, how are the sentencing? Cynthia, you mentioned the Crown Prosecutor was asking for a lot more than 45 days. How did the family react to the sentence? Well, the court scene was interesting. Thank you, Cynthia, and she will have a report on Pulse at 6. Police are searching for a spurned lover in a double shooting in Longueuil. Investigators say a 22-year-old man walked into his ex-girlfriend's home on Lincourt Street about 11 o'clock last night. He shot and wounded the young woman and killed her 47-year-old mother when she tried to intervene. 42 people face charges today in the wake of Montreal Urban Community Police raids on two bars. Officers arrested owners and dancers and waiters and five customers at the... Now here's something to think about if you're preparing to trundle off to bed. Actually, it's something to think about if you intend to stay up late and you've got to get up early in the morning. You could be setting yourself up for a serious problem, sleep deprivation. Now, I don't want to be a bad influence, but you might want to stay up late <laughs> enough to see sports and to hear Rod Charlo will tell us about it. Sunshine yeah. tomorrow, huh? That's right. Sunshine in the morning. Canadians can be forgiven for not being motivated. It's sort of like trying to be excited about a losing lottery ticket, That's isn't it? Funny what happened on May Day, because it's May Day, May Day, we're going down. This is Groundhog Day, a day when we temporarily put the seasonal weather forecasting in the four paws of rodents. Canada's Wired and Willie emerged from his home near Owen Sound, Ontario, and saw his shadow. They say that means we can expect another six weeks of winter. But look at this. In the United States, a different groundhog and a different forecast. Puxitani Phil poked his furry little head, or at least was lifted into the fresh Pennsylvania air, and he did not see his shadow. Presumably that means spring is just around the corner, at least in that part of the United States. What a fat furry <laughs> groundhog he is. <laughs> what did you see when you stuck your head into the air this morning? I saw lots of sunshine, lots of clear skies, and winter's here. It's very cold. Oh boy, mm -hmm. and we'll hear all about it right after these words. And it will be sunny and warm tomorrow, so do enjoy it. I'm Howard Schwartz. Thank you for joining us. And have a good night. Rachel Street East. Howard Schwartz is just outside the movie set where the explosion occurred this evening. What exactly happened, Howard? Well, Bill, it happened just before 8 o'clock tonight. They were filming a scene, as you mentioned.